Shalom and welcome to two minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Kiddush Makom Sudu Part Two. We learned in the uh, Part One that according to Mishabura, someone who is listening to a Makadesh to make Kiddush, uh, that not only does the Makadesh one who makes Kiddush have to have a Suda, ideally bread, or at least mizonot and possibly wine, but uh, the one listening as well should have Suda. Kiddush Makom Sudu is not simply for the one making the Kiddush, but for each participant. Mishmur does mention Shilta Giborin that the Suda could be even just vegetables and fruits, fish, and other things, and he relies on it Shasat Chak in the morning. There are a few other possible leaning opinions here that uh, one may be able to rely on. I'm Shasat Chak, you should talk it over the Posek. You have the Chazonish that does maintain that one who has a su'uda, that's his su'uda, is fish, meat, and uh, fruits, vegetables, and that's his bazonos, that's all he eats, then for him, that's his su'uda, and that's his kiddush b'makom su'uda for him. So that's uh, one possible leniency. Uh, another leniency is the me'am lo'ez, a very interesting kiddush, that when I go ahead and I make Kiddush, now I've created a Halacha Kiddush. So someone listening has heard a Halacha Kiddush, and if he could drink, because he heard a Kiddush, but Makum Suda, Suda is just a means to create a Halacha Kiddush, and he heard a Halacha Kiddush, and now the person can eat and drink, because he was Yotze, his Kiddush. That's the Me'am Lo'ez. The B'tzel HaChachma brings that sheet to down. Uh, to a line of L'Chadchil is not simple, but if there's a pressing kind of situation, uh, a person is not well, he's very, very hungry, and he's weak, and uh, by the time he gets home to make Kiddush, um, then uh, it's going to be a while, so there might be someone to be lenient. So just to list the different shital, going for the most machme is the grahuls. You always need to have a bread meal. That's the Kiddush makom suda is bread. Then you have the goonim that say you could go for bread, that's a suda or zonot, cake, or cooked uh, noodles, and stuff like that, and possibly wine. Then you have a shita that says, Ma'am Loez, that Kiddush Makom Suda, Suda's needed just to qualify it as a Kiddush, but once that one person in the Kaddish has a Suda, then I heard a halacha Kiddush, and I can now eat anything I want, fruits, vegetables, and the like. Then you have a shita that says that a Suda, is any suda anyone has on Shabbat, that's a shilta gibarim. Hashabbos makes it a, a suda and gives a kviyas. Mishmur is ready to rely on that in the morning, b'shasat chak. And then you have the chazon ish that maintains that if that's my suda, that's all I have, I restricted diet, that for me subjectively that becomes my suda. And therefore I can have kiddush, but makom suda in with my subjective suda. But say al-hachma from Australia, he brings down the, the lenient sheet of the Mamloes, and uh, he does say, certain time, Shasat Chak, a person may be able to be Mekel, where he hears a Kiddush from someone else, and he could go ahead and now drink and eat, and even if it's not a Suda, La'achal Ma'is, of course, one should talk to the post Shalom.